According to the exam board, candidates that were successful in GCSE physics could do the following. Number one, they were well acquainted with the content of the specification. You can find your specification by googling your exam board's name, followed by the word GCSE specification, or your teacher will be able to provide this for you. Successful candidates were also very skilled as a result of having done a lot of engaged practical work throughout their course. They were also very competent in quantitative work and especially so while using equations. Successful candidates were also able to read the question really, really carefully and well focus on exactly what the question is asking. The next one is probably the most important one. They were able to apply their physics knowledge to new and unfamiliar situations to them. The best way to practice this is by doing lots and lots of practice pass papers continuously a being exposed to new situations and new problems to solve. On the other hand, less successful candidates had gaps in the conceptual knowledge of the topics in each of the papers. They also had gaps in procedural knowledge that's been related to practical work. Remember, for instance, every time we're describing an experiment, we need to mention what measurements we're going to take and what instruments we're going to use to measure them. We also need to mention what variables we're going to keep constant and which ones we're going to vary. Candidates often also misunderstood or misread symbols that have been used in equations. It would be very, very useful to go over all of the equations before each paper just one more time, carefully noting what each symbol means and how to rearrange for it. This will ensure that you can tackle any problem that's related to those equations. They also did not focus sufficiently on what the question was actually asking. Remember, there's a big difference between describe and explain and show and calculate. These are all command words that we need to take note of and each one of them will require a different response. Additionally, candidates who were less successful were also less able to apply their knowledge of physics to new situations. In order to avoid that, revision is key and an excellent way to kickstart your revision is my video on how to actually revise that will really help boost your grade and get that in GCSE physics, this video is right over here.